Hello and welcome to this video in which I'll be showing you the entire process of reflowing my new board, the Berduino Nano. The first step is the most important one, applying your solder paste stencil. It's absolutely essential to get this aligned right, so don't be afraid to give it multiple tries. The next step is to apply a generous amount of solder paste. I'm just using an old PCB to spread it out and I'm going over multiple times to make sure it goes in all of the holes. After making sure that the solder paste has filled all of the holes, I just gently peel back the stencil to reveal the board. Now it's time for a quick inspection and then populating the board. These right angled tweezers really are your best friend in this process. Just very gently put down all of the components in their right place. Sadly my camera stopped recording just before I was able to put down the microcontroller and the voltage regulator. Here is the populated board. It's ready to go into the reflow oven. My reflow oven is just a little campsite oven that I converted for use with a PID controller. Now I'm just placing the Berduino into the oven and closing the lid making sure that the thermocouple is in the middle of the oven for accurate measurement. Here you can see the temperature inside of the oven increasing. The melting point of the solder is about 180 degrees Celsius which is right about now. I'm just going to leave it above the melting point for about 20 seconds. After shutting off the oven, I'm opening the lid to make sure that it cools down fast enough. And here's the final result. As you can see it looks pretty nice, except there is just one solder bridge on the microcontroller, right here. To solve that problem I'm just going to gently touch the bridge with my soldering iron. And here's the final result. As you can see it reflowed pretty nicely, so now all that's left is to test it out.